Hey everyone, Dan here, Vivid Racing, and today we are going to do a cool, interesting project by doing a VR tuned on this BMW i8. So let's check it out. All right, so what's up with the BMW i8? It is a hybrid vehicle. The hybrid electric motors combined with the 1.5 liter gasoline engine makes 357 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. With our baseline, we'll get to see what this thing really does at the wheels, and then we'll do our VR tuned and see what type of performance numbers we get. So why the i8? The i8 is one that is part of the new F-Series tuning that we can do, but it's unique being a hybrid gasoline setup, much like the new NSX um, and other vehicles. And people always ask us, you know, can you do more? So not only will we be able to increase power and torque, but we should see an increase in fuel economy with changes in fuel. Um, overall, you know, first time actually messing with an i8 in person, uh, it's a pretty neat car. You know, everything is carbon fiber construction, um, the big vent in the hood, the doors that open up, um, reminiscent of our project McLaren. So it's kind of fun, um, probably easier to get in and out of, but you can see all the composite construction that the car has. So. Pretty lightweight, um, 3,300 pounds, 3,400 pounds, add me in there, 3,400 pounds. And uh, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and get this set up. We're gonna run it on the dyno and, and get some baseline numbers and go from there. Okay, so we have the electric motor and the gas motor working together here. We're in third gear and we're gonna start this test. We just finished the baseline run, uh, 328 horsepower of the wheels with about 400 foot-pounds of torque. So it looks like we're at about a 10, 15% drivetrain loss. Um, we're gonna do two more baseline tests just to make sure our results are uh, verified. We don't wanna have any too high, too low numbers, so we wanna make sure our test is controlled. So we'll finish these two and then we'll work on the tune next. So this thing will actually get to 95 miles an hour before it shifts into fourth, so that's pretty tall for the uh, third gear. So now we're gonna try the quarter mile feature that the Mustang Dyno has. It's kind of a, it's not a ideal, but it gives us a good, you know, comparison. So the Mustang Dyno will give us a countdown and we can hammer through it and we should see about 100 to 110 mile per hour run. So let's go ahead and set that up and start tests. Here we go. Ready and gas. All right, we've just finished doing the baseline runs on this BMW i8, and now we're going to flash our new VR tune file. Doing the tuning always takes uh, many different aspects of the file, calibrations to adjust fuel mixture, timing, limiters, um, all types of different features. Really depends on what you want to achieve with the tune. So now that we've done that, we're going to flash the car with our iFlash system. Now this system and the cables are the same thing that we can ship worldwide to any customer. So you can flash your BMW i8 or any F-Series BMW in the convenience of your garage shop outside next to a Starbucks or whatever. So once we have the cable plugged in and the ignition turned on, we've already done all the read and write steps, so we're gonna now program the ECU. So we click here on program ECU memory, and now we just have to then select the file and we'll begin programming. And this takes about five to 10 minutes. And once complete, the file will now be on the vehicle and we can run our tune tests. With the iFlash, we can also flash back to stock for any warranty purposes, as well as do some basic uh, code scanning or code clearing if need be. So when you do flash any of the BMW F Series, you need to make sure to uh, write the coding back. So that's what the iFlash tool will do. It allows you to read your BMW coding 
and then rewrite it. And coating takes care of all your things, you know, your windows and your sunroofs and your other features and functions that BMW has programmed. So it's important that before you start the car is to reflash that. So before we start here and finish our dyno pulls, we're gonna go ahead and, and redo the coating. So we'll turn the ignition back on. Right coating, and coating has been successfully written. So now we can close everything and start it up. Okay, the new VR Tune Flash is on the car. So we're gonna start one of our tests here, 2500 to 6500 RPM, so we can see uh, what we get. And here we go. All right, so let's talk about some numbers here. We just finished doing the VR2 and ECU flash on the BMW i8, and we've got some really good before and after results. Now, first, combination of the 1.5 liter engine with the electric motors, this car makes 357 horsepower to the crank, not to the wheels. Now, the Mustang dyno gives you probably the most realistic, real world uh, readings at what it would make to the wheels, what you see everyday driving. People sometimes say, well, why are you running all-wheel drive? It's not an all-wheel drive car. Well, when you drive around, all four of your wheels are on the ground. So um, what we usually see on the Mustang Dyno is about a 20% drivetrain loss to the wheels. That would give us about 285 wheel horsepower. Now, again, usually it is 20%. In this case, our baseline is showing 333 all-wheel horsepower so we're actually only seeing about a 10 to 8 percent drivetrain loss now that could be that the car is underrated it could be that some other factor with the combination of the electric motor working in the top end but we're not seeing what a normal drivetrain loss is either way the numbers don't matter as much as the gains so let's talk about the gains Taking a look at the graph here, we can see where our performance really is. So, you know, on our torque here, we see at this point at 3,297 RPMs, we have 411 pound feet of torque at the wheels. That same point, we show 385. So right there, that's just about a 30 uh, foot pound of torque gain. Now, if you follow the curve here, we have 403 to 483, so about 20. And then we kind of shrink down and get back up here. So at this point here, at about 4,900 RPMs, we have 365 to 338. So going back to just under 30 uh, foot-pounds of torque. Now horsepower, again, with the combination of the electric motors and the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine, um, we see quite the difference here up top. So our peak we have here is 352 all-wheel horsepower. That same RPM, about 5,600 RPM, is around 328, 329. So we're seeing close to a 30 all-wheel horsepower gain. In the lowers, um, right about 3,700 RPM, we're at 285 compared to 272, so still a nice 13 wheel horsepower gain. So the entire curve has performance not only in horsepower, but torque, and that's what's important. This low range will do really well for your zero to 60 and you're driving around town. For those guys that wanna downshift and hit it hard on the highway, they'll see those gains up top. As you can see, the turbo 
uh, helps pick up the top end horsepower. So overall, the VR Tune Flash does perfect job here of reaching the numbers that we want. Very smooth curves, very good gains on a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. You got to remember uh, a car such as a Porsche 997 Turbo comes stock with 480 horsepower, gains about 115 horsepower to the crank, and that is a 3.6 liter twin turbo. So these are relatively good gains for this engine size and what we have here. Now let's check out some of the quarter mile testing that we did here on the Mustang Dyno. So this is a replicated scenario, but uh, what we had was on the stock tune, completely stock car, we ran a 12.83 quarter mile at 115 miles per hour. So we actually picked up two tenths in our replicated quarter mile scenario. We also picked up about a mile per hour, mile, about almost two miles per hour from 114 to 116 in our scenario here. So not only are we gaining torque, horsepower, improved zero to 60, but as we've shown in our test, better quarter mile, uh, times and trap speed. So pretty cool little car, the BMW i8, you know, gaining um, significant performance from the 1.5 liter turbocharged. And even more is you turn all that stuff off, you have fully electric motor, car is dead silent and unique. So um, very stoked on how it came out. Another great tune from us. And uh, now these are available. So if you have any questions, leave us a comment, shoot us an email, make sure you visit vrtune.com and vividracing.com. Remember, this along with all the other BMW F-Series are now flashed all through the OBD2 port. No need to send your ECU in, no need to unlock it patching. Um, so yeah, another great alternative to get more power from your BMW i8.